Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text loss video with a brand new Apple iPad Pro. I just placed it besides the iPad Air and the iPad Mini because someone asked me to do this for a size comparison. There you go. But in this video we are going to set the device up so we do the whole setup procedure. First of all I got the Wi-Fi version. I don't have to enter a SIM card. The first thing you will have to do is push the on off button on the right upper corner. Push it, push it, still push it and there you go. You will see the Apple logo and this is just huge. <laughs> this looks so ridiculously if you use it uh, vertically in my opinion. This is just insane how big this device is. You got really, uh, or I got the impression, I got a normal iPad, which <laughs> is so huge. Uh, just uh, a quick comparison. Let's get me uh, grab the iPad Air so that you can, so that you can uh, see the, the size difference here or just the screen difference. This is, <laughs> this is nice. So you get a whole bunch of more screen. The screen of the iPad Pro is even bigger than the whole iPad Air just for this comparison. So first step is choose a language and uh, I choose English. Let's see, can I uh, do the setup up uh, horizontally? No, I have to do this vertically. Select country or region, uh, Germany, yes. Next step, uh, now that I think it will uh, try to locate uh, Wi-Fi, yes, choose a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, you can also set do the setup by connecting the iPad uh, with iTunes, with a PC or Mac, but I'm at home, I got my Wi-Fi, so I will connect to my Wi-Fi. The next step is location services, enable location services or disable location services. I will in enable it. Now touch ID because also the iPad Pro got this touch ID home button. So just uh, place your thumb or any other finger or body part on the scanner. Don't press it, just place it on it and then lift it up, place it again on the button, lift it, place it, lift it, place it and uh, do this a couple of times. Lift it, place it, lift it, place it. Lift it, place it, lift it, place it. And after a couple of tries, uh, the iPad will tell you that you have to move your finger a little bit. Uh, come on, come on. And do it again and again, there you go. Adjust your grip, hit continue, and then just move your finger around. Lift it, place it, lift it, place it and do this from different angles and corners just that the scanner can can get a nice view of of any angle of your fingerprint lift it place it lift it place it and complete continue in the next step create a passcode in case you lose your finger or your finger is wet there are passcode options you couldn't choose because you can change the code you can use a custom numeric code a custom fm numeric code or just a four digit numeric code which is just four digits which is way easier one two three four one two three four is very common so it's warning me but yes use code enter your code again one two three four and you are done. Now is the big question. Do you want to set this one as a new iPad? Then you have to choose option three. You also can restore from another backup. No, it doesn't ha not have to be an iPad. It also can be an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Yes, this works as well. If you got your backup in the cloud, in the iCloud, then choose iCloud backup. Or if you got it on your Mac or PC, then choose iTunes backup and connect it via cable with your, with your device and then uh, restore the backup. Or if you're switching from Android, there's now an option for this and also an, uh, an Android app for that. But I have, will choose set up new iPad because I want to see which apps are pre-installed, how much free storage I got, and, and, and. Now you have to enter your Apple ID to use all the Apple services. Then you have to agree to the terms and conditions. You can't skip it. You have to agree, agree, agree iCloud Keychain. If you want to uh, store or exchange your passwords and credit card information, you can approve it with another device or don't restore the passwords. I like the service, but you need another uh, iOS or Apple device uh, to approve the new iPad Pro. So if you have hit approve, you will get a notification on another device. 
And the next step is diagn diagnostics. You want to send them to Apple or no, I don't want to send them. Hit don't send and welcome to Apple and get started. And there we go. And boy, is this is a huge home screen. And now, yes, I can use it horizontally because vertically, I don't think this feels right. Let's try out horizontally and let's swipe down. Oh yeah, and look at this whole size keyboard. Is it whole size? Let's find out. I got my normal Apple keyboard here. And if you compare the both sizes, yes, it looks it looks identically. Um, maybe maybe a little bit tinier. Let's see. Okay, and if I press place my fingers over it in the same, yes, I would say close to normal. Let's find out if I can type on it. Um, hello, YouTube. How are? Yeah, don't don't hit this one. You today? Okay, ten finger typing on the iPad Pro seems working. It's a little bit uh, differently because you don't get this haptic feedback. And uh, yes, but I think. With a little bit uh, of of, um, of training, you can really start typing normally. Yes, definitely typing normally. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Woo, this will be uh, nice. Because uh, also, don't forget, it's now lying flat on the table. I don't got any cases yet. I've not unboxed the cases, and there's also a keyboard cover case from Apple, which should also help you typing normally on this device. But now let's try some things out. Let's check out the camera. No, no, no. First of all, yes, I want to allow the camera to take thumb notes. But first of all, let's see what, what is pre-installed on the device. Uh, not really much. I got my normal Apple apps and I got Game Center, but no Office apps, no iMovie, no GarageBand. So this should mean we got plenty of storage left. Let's check out. And yes, under settings, general, and then storage iCloud usage, we can see that we still got used uh, one gigabyte available. 25.2 gigabytes are left from our 32 gigabytes. Of course, no, if you, there's normally only 27, 28 gigabytes free because of if you calculate it differently, uh, 32 gigabytes is the advertisement, but actually you can only use a around 28 and from those 28 you need a couple of gigabytes for iOS and then there are pre some pre-installed apps that you can't delete. So for at the 32 gigabyte basic model you still got 25.1 gigabytes of free storage on the device. Let's check out the camera and I can't wait for the first people to film with this camera. Yes, but HDR is turned off. Turn the HDR on. Ah, this takes a little bit longer to save. And keep in mind, this is the old 8 megapixel camera, uh, which does not record 4K Ultra HD videos. So we got photo, we got square, we got panorama, we got video, we got slow motion, and we got time lapse. And last but not least, we also got the front facing camera, which is here 1.2 megapixel. Again, an old one, but should be sufficient, only sufficient for Skype, FaceTime, and even if you want to do take a selfie or anything. But this should do the trick in most cases, but for a price of around 900 euros to get such old cameras, hard, 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 hard. Let's check out the browser and the speakers. I just opened up Safari, typed in text laws, got the link to, to the YouTube, and there we go. And there we got already the iPad Pro. I'm unboxing video and YouTube, let's listen and welcome to in. a new text laws video. Wow. I just came back from the Apple store and guess what they are already selling? Yes, the new Apple iPad Pro, it's big, it's really big. I got the black version here, or space gray. It's a 32 gigabyte version, Wi-Fi only. So it's a basic model for 900 euros. This is really a lot. So, and now we open up the box. On the box itself, you don't get any information. So just Apple iPad Pro and really, 
those speakers are amazing. Of course, they're only standard speakers, but you got four of them and they just, it's, it sounds great. It's the best iOS device sound experience I ever had. This is even on any other tablet or smartphone. These are definitely the best speaker, not the best speakers. I mean, they are st standard speakers, but you've got four of them and this is just fantastic. The sound feels warm. You get this volume coming out of the device. This should be a great device to watch videos on. It's the same with uh, like the Motorola second generation, which got uh, two front or two standard speakers and they don't need to be high end. It's only need to be standard and you got two of them and this feels, sounds really great. And Apple is giving you four of its speakers. Really a nice sound experience, I have to say. This is, the size is great, yes. The, the screen looks great, yes. But those four speakers are the thing that's now, that are now amazing me the most. Uh, let's check out... Uh, Let's go back and check out what about split view. Let's see if we can uh, get another app in here. Let's take maps. Yes, maps can do what it want. Uh, prep improve maps. No, thank you. Not right now. And I can now swipe maps and I got two apps running simultaneously near uh, in each window. And let's see, can I rem swipe it over here? No, 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 no. You can only pull the second app up to the half or up to half. Uh, maybe let's see two thirds. No, this is one fourth. No, you can't, you got only two options here. Uh, one fourth, I would guess, and one half. So 25 or 50% for and the second app. So really nice. And what about the screen? Screen looks amazing. This looks really nice. What about the brightness level? Yes, bright screen. Look at the, the reflection of the lamp up here. You can still see it on full brightness. We are, yes, we are on full brightness. And let's go back to 50%. No, 50. Let's say this is 50. Yeah, okay. Uh, now the lamp is way brighter, so you can do a lot of against the reflection with turn by turning on the brightness, but this will also consume battery life. Uh, what about battery? 71%, so it should be 75 around out of the box or anything. This is amazing. The resolution is nice. It got the same PPI, 264, I'm guessing, as on, as on the iPad uh, 2 but you got a higher resolution here um, and I think so it's the same pixel density we got the same PPI numbers but I think you will hold the iPad Pro a little bit further away from your eyes than the iPad Air or the iPad Mini so in this case the device should look a little bit sharper to you or like yes I, I just think it but in both cases Looks great, looks sharp, nice display. I can't see any pixel, uh, the, uh, pixel missing pixel, pixels or damaged pixels. Uh, also, the brightness looks great. Um, don't start again with the video. Uh, just no, looks really, looks really amazing. Nice screen, nice device. Seven hundred thirteen grams. It feels heavy. It's a two-hand device. And this is the first impression. The first impression is really, really good. And in the next videos, of course, I will test a lot of things. I will compare it to other devices also with the other iPads. Maybe, of course, we got a lot of stuff. The Apple Pencil, the Apple cases and all those things. Uh, this is, but this is it for the, f for the setup video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you got questions or um, ideas for the next videos, what I can do, just give, give me a hint and maybe I will do this. But now I will take this iPad Pro. I will work, walk around a little bit with it, try to play with it around and in the evening I'm going to watch some movies I'm going to watch uh, surf the web try it out on the couch as a surfing device as a gaming device and this night in the bed I will also try to read on this device because I am imagine reading on this device should be a little bit complicated maybe in horizontal mode with two pages next to each other this would be something and what about all this uh, digital comic books and all those other things but this is it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye